Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today, we're looking at the top 10 countries where it's easiest to own guns. In 2007, the Small Arms Survey estimated that there were 650 million civilian-held guns in the world. Unless we fell asleep and somehow missed a coordinated global melting down of guns, that number has certainly risen. Yes, our planet is awash in guns for all sorts of uses, from sport to hunting to recreation to personal safety, they are everywhere. But that distribution, well, it's far from even. In Japan, for example, owning a gun is about as rare as owning a dog with a decent grasp of Latin. And having a a lot of guns doesn't necessarily mean the country's government is happy about it. Uruguay ranks 8th for per capita gun ownership, but still has restrictive firearms controls. So where in the world are people buying, owning, selling, and carrying guns with ease? Well, luckily for the curious, in 2014, Guns and Ammo magazine ranked global countries by gun laws. And trust us, number one is not going to surprise you. Number 10. Honduras a small Central American state, Honduras has essentially been a basket case since a 2009 coup ousted the civilian government. To this day, the U.S. State Department routinely responds to the question, is it safe to go to Honduras, with the official equivalent of a hollow laugh. Crime is rampant, freedoms are restricted, and civil rights are often trampled. But there is one surprising area where Honduras remains permissive. They have one of the least restrictive sets of gun laws on Earth. This may come as a surprise if you remember that viral meme in 2015 that linked Honduras's high murder rate to excessive gun control. Well, you're about to learn an important lesson in not believing random memes, because Honduras is only anti-gun when it comes to carrying firearms in public. In 2007, both concealed and open carry were outright banned. On the other hand, statute law guarantees the right to own guns, and you can purchase shotguns, rifles, and handguns for purposes as nebulous as self-defense or recreation. Still, gun ownership in Honduras is highly regulated. Only five firearms are allowed per person, they must be registered, and you can only buy them in government-run stores. Number 9. Finland from one of the most dangerous states in the world to literally the very safest. As of 2017, the Nordic state of Finland is considered so safe that even Icelanders probably go there to escape the violence of the modern world. It's also a country with a strong hunting tradition. In Finland, the idea of not breaking out the rifle for a bit of sport is about as alien as not taking a sauna or finding the taste of rotting fish less than appetizing. Still, Finland is not what you would call an ultra-permissive gun society. In fact, the regulations on certain types of guns are so stringent a visiting gun owner from the US would probably be left spitting bile in disgust. Semi-automatic weapons are effectively banned by Helsinki except in very special circumstances, and each and every gun you buy requires a separate license. And, well, you'd better make absolutely sure those guns stay in the home. Not only are open and concealed carry banned, but self-defense is not a legit reason for owning a gun. Number 8. Serbia Serbia has the second highest rate of gun ownership in the world. No prizes for guessing number 1 here. However, this is less due to permissive gun policies and more to do with the catastrophic collapse of Yugoslavia in the 1990s. Following Serbia's involvement in four wars with Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia, and Kosovo, the country was completely awash with firearms. Massive gun buyback drives and tightening of regulations seem to have done little to curb those numbers. Even keeping all of this in mind, Serbia is still a fairly pro-gun place. It's technically possible to get a license for any class of firearm, though getting a handgun license is apparently as complicated as playing chess while attempting to decipher a Rubik's Cube and recite pi to the 20,000th decimal place. Further concealed and open carry is legal for those who have a good reason to think they're in danger. There's also a strong hunting culture in the countryside, comparable even to Finland. On the other hand, Serbs are big on ammunition control. Gun owners are restricted to buying 60 rounds a year, which at least ensures that you'll have to wait until you get a clear shot before opening fire on a deer. Number 7. Sweden You've probably realized by now that Europe is going to feature prominently on this list. The reason for that is that an insane number of EU and EU associate countries have strong hunting cultures. And Sweden, it's no exception. That's right, the same country that's a couple of light years to the left of Bernie Sanders on immigration, refugees, women's rights, and LGBT representation is also significantly to the right of the American Center on Guns. If anything, Sweden is a really excellent example that it's truly possible to run a successful country with a combination of political 
radical ideas, who would have thought it? Nearly a third of Sweden's population are gun owners, and most of these have the right to own semi-automatic weapons. It's also surprisingly difficult to get yourself banned from owning guns. Only about a thousand permits are denied every year, and these bans are easily overturned on appeal. But Sweden is still a country that loves itself some regulation. If you want a gun, you're going to have to pass a written test, a shooting test, join a gun club, and prove you've never been convicted of drunk driving. But hey, most companies will actually let you store your guns in a special safe at work. Number 6. Canada. If you're reading this in the near future, this list may no longer be accurate. The government of Justin Trudeau has slowly been following a legislative program of gun restriction, though CBC reports it may not be working. For the time being, though, Canada remains a country that may not love guns as much as its southern neighbor, but sure as heck isn't going to be joining the NRA's anti-gun hit list anytime soon. One reason for this may be the unique gun culture that thrives in Canada's indigenous communities. Because rifles and long guns are often passed around between friends, families, and within the wider community, creating databases and registries can turn into a cross-cultural nightmare where everyone winds up very angry with everyone else. On top of that, hunting and sport shooting are as prevalent in North America's answer to Sweden as they are in actual Sweden. Perhaps it's no surprise previous gun control drives have totally fizzled. Yet Canada isn't exactly a gun lover's paradise. Small pistols are completely banned and semi-automatic weapons are so hard to get a hold of that they might as well be. Number 5. Norway and yes, we are back in Europe once again. For one of two countries on a peninsula shaped suspiciously like a dude's genitalia, Norway is almost uniquely unmacho in the most positive way. Violence is low, aggression is rare, it's the third most gender equal country in the world, and launching Viking raids on Britain is thankfully a thing of the past. But there's one traditionally male dominated activity Norwegians of all genders like to indulge in. Gun ownership is as Norwegian as bright blonde hair or being freezing cold in winter. For the first time on our list, that also applies to semi-automatic weapons. Provided you can get a regular permit, you're free to own, for example, an AR-15. And nor is Norwegian law open to change. After far-right terrorist Anders Breivik gunned down 69 people in 2011 and killed another eight with a car bomb, there was a big push to tighten gun laws. Yet, in the end, that fizzled out. Norwegians decided their gun rights should stand, even in the face of this unimaginable tragedy. But don't expect Norway to be anything like the US. Norwegians generally get out their guns during hunting season, and that's pretty much it. Gun violence is so rare that the cops there aren't even armed. Number 4. Panama do you like the idea of living in a tropical country as warm and as gun-friendly as Honduras but without the horrific violence of Honduras? Well then, you might be interested in the little country of Panama. Home to the world's most famous canal, Panama has long had a reputation as one of the safest countries in Central America, although that's a little like having a reputation as the shortest giant. Know what else it's also got a reputation for? Well, that's sporting gun laws that could almost have been written by the NRA. Panama will essentially let you buy whatever non-fully automatic gun you like, including sawn-off shotguns. Once you legally own a gun, there are absolutely no restrictions on carrying it around with you, provided that it's concealed. As some gun blogs have noted, this is less restrictive than in some parts of the USA. That might not be true, though, where getting your initial permit is concerned. You've got to be a resident to buy weaponry in Panama, and getting a license can take months and months and months. Interestingly, Panama gun culture is pretty close to non-existent, though. Only 3% of Panamanian own guns, which is fewer than even in gun-restrictive Britain. Number 3. Switzerland no other country in the EFTA, that's the group of states including the EU and countries that aren't in the EU but are part of the single market, has as many guns as Switzerland. The country has the fourth highest ownership rate on earth and a gun culture that goes back decades. Until 2010, it was required for able-bodied males to own at least one gun. In 1997, gun ownership became a legally recognized right. And, well, you better believe that the Swiss exercise that right. Just shy of 30% of the population are gun owners, 10 times the rate in Panama. The Swiss love of guns sometimes borders on the bizarre, though. At one point, some cantons made it a legal requirement for the groom to be in possession of a firearm before he could be married. To be fair, though, this law was repealed over a century ago. This Swiss love affair with guns, though, it also has its downsides. Gun suicides in Switzerland far outstrip those of anywhere else in Europe. Swiss law has some interesting shades. While you can buy single-shot guns without a permit, you are also legally responsible for any crimes committed with that gun. That means that if someone steals your gun and shoots someone else, you're going to face jail time. 
Number 2. Czech Republic The Czech Republic, and no, we're not calling it Czechia, may be the only country on Earth where citizens have the constitutional right to shoot terrorists. The government pushed the amendment through in 2017, despite the country having one of the lowest likelihoods of terror attacks in the entire world. The law may be less a testament to fear of attack, though, than it is to the Czech gun culture. Along with Switzerland, Czech Republic is about the most pro-gun country in the whole of Europe. Before we go on, though, it's worth pointing out that permissive gun laws in Czech don't apply to those in the country as tourists or on a temporary basis. But if you're a resident or a citizen, well, you're laughing all the way to the local gun shop. Czechs can own semi-automatic weapons, can get a permit to carry up to two concealed handguns without giving a reason, can use guns in self-defense, and can enjoy a crazy amount of hunting. But don't be fooled into thinking Czech gun culture is like American gun culture. Every single gun owned in the Czech Republic has to be registered, and the sort of overt yeehaw gun love that you get in places like Texas it simply doesn't exist. Number 1. The United States of America Yes, you guessed it. The number one country where it's easiest to own guns is, of course, the United States of America. While the Constitution may not specifically protect your right to shoot terrorists, it does protect your right to bear arms. Exactly what that means is a super controversial issue that has caused more nuclear level arguments than even abortion or immigration. But as it is currently interpreted, it means you can effectively own whatever gun you'd like. Provided you don't live in a state with stringent gun laws, you can likely haul your semi auto rifle into a cafe and still not be breaking the law. In some states, you may even soon be able to concealed carry in schools. But you don't need us to tell you this. The US has the most permissive gun culture, and everyone knows it. There are more civilian guns in the US than anywhere on Earth. It's actually nearly more than the rest of the world combined. Indeed, over a third of the American population are gun owners. Whether you think this is a good thing or a bad thing, there's no doubt that guns in America are definitely there to stay. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, if you're looking for something else to watch, please do check out my other channel. It's called Biographics. We do biographies of notable people from history and the present day. Lots of different characters on there, so do go check it out. There's a link in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching.